All right, welcome back. Ooh. Welcome back to White Creek Acres. Today we're inoculating logs with shiitakes, and we're doing it with uh, Northern Spores uh, kickback. Not kickback, because we're not paying for anything. Uh, we're doing it with Northern Spores sawdust spawn, and we're doing it with the speed drill, and Basically what you do, stick a ton of these holes in there, and I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, now that we got our holes drilled, we're going to uh, start uh, put, using our inoculating tool to get the sawdust into plugs, and then we'll inject them into the holes that we just drilled. Uh, we got to sanitize with our alcohol and our spray bottle to keep everything as clean as possible out here. And then we'll, the next part will be sealing off the holes with food, food grade wax or paraffin, paraffin or bee, beeswax. Preferably beeswax or food grade wax. Okay? We spray our bag where we're going to cut at. Sprayer knife and your sprayer inoculating tool, and we're like wherever you're laying it down at, spray that too. And take your knife, cut your bag open, and roll it over. Turn it upside down until you're ready for it. Uh, Roll your log around where your holes are at. And we grab our sprayed inoculating tool. Pull over our mushrooms. Pack our plug. And inject it. The more you leave this open, the more you got time for contaminants to get in. So you try to work fairly quick. Okay, got all them. Roll her bag over, flip it over. Put our inoculating tool in our sanitized area. Now we go through and we cover all these with wax. Today I'm using a red food grade beeswax. Uh, this way I can know exactly where I covered at. And then another thing I've learned from other people too is you try to do the ends because you will get uh, contaminants from your ends. Okay, that's how you inoculate a log for shiitakes. And after this, I'm going to put them on a pallet for the rest of the winter and then. Next year, we'll start uh, soaking these logs so they uh, produce mushrooms. Okay. I wanted to show you what a log looks like after we're done with it. So these are all the drilled holes sealed up. Ends are sealed up. I wanted to show you this too. This is just a little chafing dish. It's got an alcohol burner underneath it. This way I can heat my wax 
wherever I'm at. See, like right now, I'm in the mushroom bedding area. There's no power around here. So, this way, I can still heat up my wax. The alcohol that I'm sanitizing with, and that jar right there, when I run out of heat on this, then I just let it cool down till the wax starts giving up. I add some more alcohol to it, light it on, and then it warms my wax back up. So this is what the logs look like when they're done. Then I bring them over here. Back them on a pallet. And then, in springtime, we'll bring them back. And then we'll set them up on our string that we put up earlier this year. Well that's the end of shiitake mushroom planting. Uh, please like and subscribe so you can see the end product. Um, I hope this helps you. If you got any questions just leave me a comment in the bottom. In the bottom. <laughs> and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If I know it I will let you know. If I don't know it I'll do some more research and find out for you. Um, this is really pretty easy. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, just the initial stage of getting everything set up. But come along with me and we'll see how this goes. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on White Creek Acres.